we have the magician coming out first okay let's see what direction this goes what is this magician giving oh we have the eight of swords either this magician is bound or they're trying to bind somebody else let me get something with this eight of swords energy oh shit we have the three of sword here their magic has been bound let me get something here with this they cannot believe this shit and then we got the six of wands energy it's like you're going free ten of cups page of cups you're going free oh my god let me get something here with this six of wands we have the lover's card. You're about to be in some type of relationship. You're about to be in some type of union. You're about to get some type of contract. I don't know what it is. But you're about to be balanced with somebody else. You're about to be in a commitment. They can't keep you out of a commitment. Yeah, nine of pentacles. I can't even look at the rest of them cards. They can't keep you out of this. Also, Gemini. So we got Virgo and Gemini twice. Now we got Pisces energy here. Okay, let me get something here with this moon card. It's something here that can't be seen. They can't see. They can't understand. It's something hidden. Yeah, we got the Page of Cups. And I seen the Page of Cups when I was shuffling. So it's something here about like, it feels like a spirit guide, like a young angel or like a child or like, it's something about imagination. It's something about, maybe it's your vision. Maybe it's like, it's something with a spirit, y'all. I'm not even going to play. It's something with a spirit. The moon card and then the Page of Cups right after that. And the Page of Cups is looking at the moon. It's a spirit here that's binding a magician let me get something here and they're binding them because you're innocent let me get something here okay we have the three of cups energy here let me get something with this so they've been trying to use okay it's something about other people other souls okay something about their their community their soul tribe or this is a person that deals with spirits or something like that then we have the two of pentacles they've been trying to swap something they've been trying to switch something they've been trying to do something to you send you something okay what i heard was fix you they've been trying to fix you and that's not mm -mm, that ain't there ain't nothing fixed ain't nothing broken to, to be fixed okay we have the four of cups energy here yeah but they're not seeing any type of result their magic has been rejected. See, people don't understand. It's actually not you. It's something else that you must be in tune with in order for your shit to work, okay? I'm just saying, it's not you. You have to ask permission of certain things. I'm just letting somebody know because this ain't really telling secrets like that because you could ask the spirit and they say no. They could say fuck no if they want to. You know what I'm saying? I'm just letting somebody know you can ask all day. But if the spirit say no and they reject something, then they've rejected it. And it is what it is. We have justice. It is what it is. You get what I'm saying? It's balanced scales. I got Ochoci or something like about spiritual law. Okay? Cause and effect. They got to be balanced. Somebody has to take accountability for some shit. It is what it is. It is what it is. There's someone that's about to move forward into unions here. They're about to move forward into unions because that is justice. This magician, whoever this is and whoever they work with, whoever they pay, whoever they, whatever the fuck it is. Okay? That's just not going to work. The spirits rejected it because you're innocent. We have the Queen of Swords energy here. Yep. It's something here about the truth and dealing with people and, and maybe even being someone that your words matter very much. Your words have power because it's justice and then the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is looking forward. So I see something positive. I don't know what this person is trying to say or what they tried to say, but that's just not going to work. So they're like a word witch. They use word to lie and confuse people and they're just a fucking liar. Ooh, I don't want to get... Mm. Sometimes it just be on my heart, but it just can't come out my mouth. But people that lie like that, for real, I'm going to stop right there. But people that lie like that with your mouth and all that, okay. Let me get something here with this moon card. Yeah, Queen of Sword is, hey, look, Queen of Sword and the Queen of Cups, they're facing each other. So somebody's telling the truth here. Somebody's being honest. It's something here about feelings, emotions. Like someone here is very intuitive. They know this Queen of Swords is being honest. They know this magician figure over here is a fucking liar. And they be doing shit. They're trying, they've tried to destroy somebody, but you're getting justice. You're getting justice. You even are inspiring others. Okay? Because this person does this to other people too. They try to block people. They try to put energies on them and shit. But with you, they're not getting the results that they're looking for. Because the spirit said, hell no. Nah. Let me get something here. 
and we have the king of wands so this is these are very strong energies these are not play play kind of energies they're not play play kind of energies very big okay wait a minute Ooh, the the nine of cups came out it's like a lot of them it's a lot of them like you got okay this might not be for everybody but you got a team of like angels or spirits or spirit guides or something like that and they're not letting it go down like that they're not gonna let this magician do what the fuck they want to do it's like someone doesn't understand like magic for real that's what i'm getting they don't understand they don't understand they're very ignorant so that's why i feel like either they're getting somebody else to help them or their spirit guides are like we can't do anything about this like we can't help you kind of thing actually no this fell into my lap let me put this shit back <laughs> let me put let me get something here with this three of cups yes oh we got the five of wands here yeah these these spirits over here with this magician this shit ain't good i don't know who this is i really don't know who's doing this magic but this shit ain't clean man that shit ain't clean if it's causing like wars and shit like that like it should be something that brings peace like if you're if you're doing some type of magic to destroy somebody then you're not you're not doing the right kind of magic okay i'm just saying now unless somebody did some shit to you that's different that's a whole different story a whole different ball game it ain't none of my business okay it ain't none of my business but i for whoever this is the spirit said no they said no not this one um you can't that you can't work that shit on that one no because whoever that is they have spirits surrounding them yeah we have the queen of wands energy here a fire sign here somebody very fiery hmm they could be trying to do something over a fire sign they could be trying to or it could be them it's like i feel like somebody's angry they're entering the whole thing angry like they have an angry energy or they got angry spirits or something like that and it's like those angry ass spirits like can't okay they can't do what they want to do if they don't have the clearance of who they need the clearance from they can't do what they want to do the only way some shit is going to work is if whatever i can't say certain things but whatever it is they said no the spirit said no it said this it's a no it's a no it's a no period period that's all that needs to be known whoever they working with they said no the world card is here closing out the cycle karmic debts paid like they can't they can't touch you you're not even in the same energy the world card happens before your energy even enters so it's a closing of a cycle here all of that shit that they got all that energy and anger and all that shit they trying to give to you or pass on to you or try to get you stuck with that shit is stuck with them okay it's just a damn cycle until they fix it they can't put that shit on nobody else let me get something here and i feel like this person is seeing it because i saw the page of sword i feel like they're they're actually having to witness this or having to go through this or spirit is sending them the message let me get something here with this yes we got the three of wands here and it's right on top of the justice like it's time for you to move forward i don't know what the fuck this person has been doing what they've been trying to do but you're going to move forward here you have some type of commitments to get to yeah two of cups look at that <laughs> and i said you got commitments to get to because i was looking at the lovers which is right above the queen of sword lovers queen of sword two of cups you have relationships to get to okay like real reflections real love real connections too like there's also some type of queen of cups there's a water sign that knows the truth but they it's like something hidden like they don't say nothing they don't expose nothing and we have the hierophant energy something about a title it's something about having some type of title something about being trusted like they want to work with you i don't know what type of partnerships or relationship this is but it's something where you're going to be with people or this person or you're going to be close but it's something where another person tried to stop that from happening okay they tried to use some type i don't know what kind of magic they were using but it's something here with spirits and shit it's somebody that works with spirits or spirits of the dead angry spirits but it don't matter how fucking angry they are if the higher up say no it's a no it's a no the spirits don't work on their own accord they can't just do what the fuck they want to do you can try to do what the fuck you want to do but if it's a decline it's declined it's declined and anybody that knows they know you can't just do what the fuck you want to do there are certain rules certain protocols and we have the wheel of fortune here i'm telling you it's going to open up everything is going to open up for you because that's what it's meant it's a it's a whole new cycle a turn of events here blessings happening somebody's prepared for the opportunity or they're going to be prepared for the opportunities here 
What's this at the bottom? Knight of Wands. Somebody's going to be unstoppable. Fearless. Okay? They're going to go after it. They're going to have the energy to do whatever they got to do. And what's this underneath? The, the Sun card. I was just wondering. The Sun card underneath this Knight of Wands. Yeah, some, it's about expression. Yeah, Five of Sword here. Underneath the Five of Wands, I told you. It's something about these spirits or the people that they work with. They're so angry. Look, and y'all, the confirmation I just got on my phone. These people that they're working with or these spirits that they're working with, they're very angry, but they're not going to be able to put these people on you or these spirits on you. They're not going to be able to do it because you're not resonating on that kind of level. And that's why this shit is not fucking working. So they're pretty much stuck with that. And all their anger and hate and all that other shit, they can keep that. That's just not going to work. But they're like, damn, now you got the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody paid a lot of fucking money. Okay, somebody paid a lot of money. I know they went to a practitioner now. They paid a lot of money for this and they got a problem. They're like, why the fuck is this shit not working? I done paid you all this damn money and what you trying to tell me? Yeah, what they didn't tell you is that the spirits can say no. So you can keep giving them money if you want to. Shit. The spirit said no. See, and I'm going to tell you something too. It's happened to me many times where I'm, um, how can I say, I'm contacted to do some type of work. And I get a message that says, and I'm talking about a spiritual message because I divine before I do shit for people confirmation. So I'm not lying, y'all. I just want y'all to know I divine before I do any type of work. And if that shit say no, what you think I'm going to do? I'm going to say no. I'm not trying to be funny, but that's how it goes. You don't just do what the fuck you want to do. A lot of people think that, but they're mistaken. If the spirits say no, it's a no. And it's going to stay a no. Okay, let me get something here. And I know there's ones out there that's going to say, oh, no, if you appease the spirit, no, fuck all that. If somebody's innocent, it's not going to happen. Let's let's really talk about it. Let me get something here with this world card. Paid all that damn money. And you mad at the practitioner. Be mad at the spirits. They didn't tell you that it's not their power. It's not them. It's something above them. We have the Knight of Sword. No, they didn't tell you. You finding out that now, whoever this karmic is. They finding this shit out now. The world card here. Hmm. Yeah last minute uh conversations somebody's mad about that money five of wands i mean five of swords ten of pentacles knight of swords somebody is pissed about that money they're like i gave you all that fucking money and you telling me that you can't do anything you can't this <laughs> somebody was angry look i'm on it i am on it they was like you said this did look tower and judgment up ah, that's what the fuck you get and what's this nine of cups that's what you get you thought you was going to get this but this is what you got this is what you got set up with, okay? I'm just being honest with somebody because they didn't tell you all that. Maybe they didn't know. Let me get something here with this three of wands. This shit is universal. You're, this, is, <laughs> this universe is made up of balance, okay? If the shit ain't balancing, you trying to throw the shit off? I don't think so. I don't think so. What is this here? We got the lovers again. Gemini energy here. And it's right there with that three of wands. It's always something with you moving forward into a relationship. Always something like they've been trying to keep you away from someone or they've been trying to keep you single or they've been trying to keep you just like stuck in some kind of way. And it's like they're not going to be able to do that. The spirit said, no, maybe they have done this for a period of time. OK, maybe they have, but it's not going to work no more. OK, it's not going to work no more. We got the six of pentacles. It's time for you to get what it is that you deserve. And it is what it is. You're not resonating at the same level. And that's why it's important to change. That's why it's important to elevate. So that kind of shit, it don't work on you. Maybe it worked on you in, in the past, but that shit ain't fucking working no more. Like it is what it is. Like you're too strong for that. I saw the strength card. Now I got the death card here. Yeah, transformation. Let me get something. Taurus, Scorpio energy, which is opposite. So something about the second house and the eighth house. Something about your resources, getting what you deserve, inheritances, spiritual inheritances, transformations, not going back, never being the same, your life changing for every year, four pinnacles. You're going to be stable. You're going to be solid. You're going to go through the transformation. You're going to be good. What is this here? And the moon card is here once again. This is crazy. Pisces energy here. It's like they can't see. It's something about the spiritual world that they can... They, you're not... How can I freaking say this? It's so... <sighs> Let me take a breath. You see where this river is headed? Okay. You see that? You see, you can't see. You see them dogs howling. You see the wolf howling. You see the clouds. You see how the moon is over there. And it's like, you know, the... I forget what those signs are called, but 
Yeah. And something back there that you can't see is some type of, because you know, everybody don't believe in the spiritual, but the spiritual is very real because we wouldn't be here. You need balance. So if we're here, they're there. <laughs> but I'm just saying, this is Pisces energy, 12th house energy here. There's something here that's protecting you. You have a, a story here. You have more to see, more to know, more to do, more to experience. You have more to your story, more to your life, more to your destiny. They can't stop this, okay? It's a hidden truth. They think that they can control some shit, but they really, really can't, okay? There's a lot of things that go on in the spiritual that people don't understand. Let me get something here. But when it's time, it's time. And they can't do shit about it. It says abundance. You get what I'm saying? I'm a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. That's what it says. That's what it says. Let me get something here with this. It says worry. So somebody worried about your abundance? It says I'm learning that worry doesn't change the outcome. Yeah, they're going to see that when the outcome is that you get everything that's yours. Abundance. So worrying about it, doing spell work on that shit, it's not going to work because you're resonating higher than something now. So it's not going to work. It doesn't matter what kind of low vibrations. And now they feel guilt. Now they feel guilt because they're stuck. What does it say? It says denial. <laughs> Somebody trying to act like they didn't do some shit. Somebody trying to act like they not heard about all that money that they paid. All that money that they paid and somebody rose above all this energy, all this spell work, all this dumb ass shit to keep you from getting your abundance. Okay, somebody's in denial. Somebody's trying to act like they didn't do nothing. Okay, let me get something here. That's funny. What is this here? Message. Number 33. Number six. It says, lucky. They know. They know for sure. They really trying to act like they don't know. They really trying to act like they won, but they didn't win. They didn't win. They spent a lot of fucking money and a lot of time. Okay? But they didn't win anything. Number 47. Number 11. Number 2. We have past life. Wow. Number 14. Number 5. See, this is a past life hater. This is somebody that's all up in your energy trying to stop you. Magic. You know what I'm saying? They can't win. They can't win fair and square. They can't. But you know that's okay because you're still going to get your abundance. You're still going to get it. And they're going to be mad as fuck. It says nature spirits. And that's what I'm talking about. It's something here about the spirits that you have favor. Their magic cannot work on you because the spirits surround you. You have favor with the spirits. It's not a game. If you take care of the spirits, the spirits will take care of you. But if you're a fucking deceitful, ugly, nasty ass person and you want to throw off the balance in the universe, then you can go to hell. I'm just being honest. Okay? Because that's the truth. You're not supposed to be doing that. You're not supposed to be furthering the pain in this fucking world. You're supposed to be alleviating the shit. Number 39, okay? And it says something about divine masculine. What is this? And it says soulmate. It's like yuck. So this person really feels like they're supposed to be with you. That's why you got the damn lovers out here twice because they don't want you to go to nobody else. They want you to stay with them. So they want to keep this magic. They want to keep doing this magic, acting like they're not doing this magic, acting like they're not going broke doing this fucking magic when you got spirits around you protecting you look i cannot fucking make it up i did not know that this card was underneath the soulmate you are protected from this person this person is not the one you're supposed to be i don't give a fuck who this is you just know them from a past life they just remember you that's all good but they were somebody that was against you they trying to stick you with them so you don't go to nobody else they were always against you they were your enemy they abused you if you was with this person i'm trying to tell you this person used you for your energy and they probably got rid of you in a fucking past life because you had the energy you had the blessings here so now in this life they can't do this shit the same way because we got cameras and shit and we got media social media and shit so now they want to resort to doing some type of bullshit ass magic but at this point you got the spirit surrounding you because you already endured what the fuck this person did you're protected <sighs> they better go somewhere with that shit let me get something here with this. Matter of fact, before I even get that, let me get let me get something positive out here. Because they playing games out here. What is this? It says it's coming. Okay? It says it's coming. Hope is on the horizon. In the face of challenges, remember that nothing lasts forever. Trust that the universe has good things in store for you. Nothing lasts forever. I told you that world card, it says the universe. Trust that the universe has good things in store for you. That's the world card. It's not going to be forever. It may have worked for a period of time because you were under a certain level of frequency, but I'm telling you, it's not where it says soul awakening. You are quite irresistible when you mind, when your mind and heart pulse in the same rhythm. Why spend your days fighting yourself? You have better things to do. 
What's this at the top? It says a deeper world. It says it's coming, a deeper world. Don't push or force your way through life. Finding balance even in dark times will open your heart to the depth of compassion in everyday moments. Okay? There's a doorway that's about to open for somebody. Okay? Let me get an angel message here. It says raise your vibration. Come on now, y'all. Come on now, y'all. Come on now. It says, trust the universe. How many times did I say trust the universe? Or I mentioned the world card. It says, where does it say that at? Okay, open your heart to the depths of compassion. Every moment you're quite resistant when you find it. Where does it say that at? It says, oh yeah, trust the universe has good things in store for you. That's where it says. And it says, trust the universe right there. It says, raise your vibration. I've been saying, if somebody raises a vibration, then they can't touch you with this shit. You'll be protected here. You're meant to have a different soulmate, but this person has been doing magic. And this person has also has been going broke, trying to act like they not. But I'm gonna leave it right here. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. I truly appreciate it because it is how we get the messages out in order to elevate the collective. I love you guys, and I'll be back with another reading later. Bye.